In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us today, especially those on the internet. Today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. She appeared back in 1917 to three uh, children, and now this is a very important uh, shrine in honor of our Blessed Mother. So we ask for her intercession for all of our needs. Let us now prepare ourselves and acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty oh God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us for our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us be seated now as we listen to God's word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. Some from the party of the Pharisees, who had become believers, stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let, Let us, us go, go rejoicing, rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. 
Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You already prune because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. We praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we continue in the fifth week of Easter, our scripture readings continue to really help us to understand what the apostles went through in the early church after the resurrection. Uh, in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we hear a very significant moment in the church when Paul and Barnabas and others went to the apostles in Jerusalem and the presbyters and asked them about the requirement to be uh, circumcised before becoming a Christian. And so this set up the whole um, episode that um, the Holy Spirit would intervene, you might say, and really uh, help the apostles to accept all Gentiles, those non-Jews, who were going to become the church. And so this was very significant in the early church, and it helped the church become Catholic. And then in the Gospel from John, we hear uh, Jesus uh, using the image of a vine. He is the vine, the Father is the vine grower, and we are the branches. So easy to relate to this uh, image in the Gospel because of the springtime that we're experiencing. People who work in their gardens and yards and think about the different kinds of vines that we see. Uh, we don't see too many grape vines around here, uh, but we do see uh, watermelon vines. We see other uh, plants that uh, produce fruit uh, with the stalk or uh, the main trunk of a vine and then the branches that produce the fruit. So it's a reminder that all of us uh, are called as Christians to uh, rely on Christ as the vine, and that we are his branches. We go out into the world, and we are nourished by his word, and we are called to bear fruit uh, that will last forever. So let us continue to pray for that uh, during this um, season of Easter, that we can truly be faithful to our vocations in life, and be truly faithful and fruitful vines. Let us stand now and pray. Lord God, we have just heard your word proclaimed. Help us now to respond in faith with our prayers and petitions. For the church, as she faces her areas of attention, 
which began even in the apostolic time, that the work of the Spirit may be recognized and the elders meet to look into the issues of our own day and pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us united with the living and true vine through our holy communion with Jesus, that we may glorify the Father by the good fruit of love and service we bring forth in our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For protection from the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God our Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all persevere in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our intentions and the intentions of those who support our Catholic sharing appeal, that the Lord who knows our hearts and our needs will give us the grace, healing, and the peace that we seek, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering in body, mind, or spirit, that they may receive the grace to remain in the love of Jesus in the midst of their trials, so as to have comfort and peace of heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that their purification may be completed through the merits of this holy sacrifice, and their joy made complete in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, we have heard your word proclaimed. We've responded in faith with our prayers and petitions. Answer them if they be your will for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and that of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of Our Lady of Fatima, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handy, handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the hosts of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise 
as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Louis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us now share the peace of Christ with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary under the title of Our Lady of Fatima may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you this day and throughout the Easter season. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace now to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Father.